Hi everyone! Welcome back to Anne Design Craft Channel. Today, I'm super excited to share a fun new crochet project with you all. We're diving into the world of Bluey, and I'll be showing you how to crochet Bingo, Bluey's adorable little sister. Whether you're a fan of the series or just love cute crochet characters, this project is perfect for adding a bit of charm to your collection. Grab your yarn, hooks, and let's bring Bingo to life. Here are the tools you'll need for this video. Four ply cotton yarn, a three millimeter crochet hook, a needle, and a pair of scissors. A triangle shaped nose bead about eight millimeters and an oval shaped eye bead about five millimeters. You can use a bigger size if you have larger eye beads. It will look cuter and more adorable. Let's start crocheting from the body. Use dark orange yarn and begin with a chain of six stitches. For round one, start with one chain. Then insert the hook into the back bump of the chain. Do one increase. Here, I recommend using the X stitch rather than the V stitch so that your crochet will not slant to the right. For more information, please watch my previous video about avoiding slant stitches. Place a marker in the first stitch in every round, followed by four single crochets. In the last stitch, do three single crochets in one stitch. Then, do five single crochets in both loops. Once you finish the round, do a slip stitch into the first stitch, then make a chain to start the next round. I highly recommend using a slip stitch to end each round, as Bingo's body has two colors. In round two, do two increases,
than four single crochets. Next, do three increases. followed by four single crochets. In the last stitch, do one increase. You should have a total of 20 stitches. When you finish a round, Make sure to do a slip stitch in the first stitch to close it off, then chain one to start the next round. In round three, do one increase. Followed by one single crochet and repeat this sequence one more time. Then, do four single crochets. Next, do one increase followed by one single crochet and repeat this sequence three times. After that, do four single crochets. Do one increase and finish with one single crochet. You should have a total of 26 stitches. In round four, do two single crochet and followed by one increase. And repeat this sequence one more time. Then, we need to change to yellow yarn to do next four single crochets. Here's how I change yarn. Insert the hook into both loops of the previous single crochet, then grab the new yarn, yarn over, and pull through. Continue with a single crochet. Then leave the dark orange yarn off the hook then, you can continue crocheting the next three single crochets.
Switch back to dark orange yarn. Next, do two single crochet and followed by one increase and repeat this sequence three times. After that, do six single crochets. Finish with one increase. You should have a total of 32 stitches. In rounds 5 to 10, you'll be working with two colors, dark orange and yellow. Start each round by doing eight single crochets with the dark orange yarn. Then, switch to yellow yarn and do four single crochets. After that, switch back to the dark orange yarn and continue with 20 single crochets to complete the round. By the end of each round, you should have a total of 32 stitches. In round 11, we need to alternate between the two colors to create a flat line at the color change. Yarn over and pull through with the dark orange yarn to make a chain. Pull both yarn tails tightly to make the knot smaller. First, insert the hook into both loops, yarn over, and pull through with the dark orange yarn. Switch hand to hold the dark orange yarn. Yarn over with the orange yarn and pull through to complete one single crochet. Repeat this step for every single crochet in this round. When you reach the middle part, yarn over with the yellow yarn and pull through, then yarn over with the orange yarn and pull through.
switch back to the dark orange yarn after four single crochets. Continue this process until the end of the round. Then you can cut off the yellow yarn and dark orange yarn. In round 12 to 13, single crochet in every stitches until end. By the end of each round, you should have a total of 32 stitches. In round 14, Start with 23 single crochet. Then switch to dark orange yarn. Do six single crochet. Switch back to light orange yarn, do three single crochet. In round 15, start with 22 single crochet, switch to dark orange yarn, do eight single crochet. Then switch back to light orange yarn, do two single crochet. In round 16, start with seven single crochets using orange yarn. Then, switch to yellow for the front tummy and do six single crochets. After that, switch back to the orange yarn and do nine single crochets. Next, switch to the dark orange yarn and do eight single crochets. Finally, switch back to the light orange yarn and do two single crochets. In the following round, just follow the written pattern. In round 22, we will start to decrease. Begin with two single crochets, followed by one decrease. Here, I show the way to do the invisible decrease. 
Inserting your hook into the front loop of the first stitch you want to decrease. Then insert your hook into the front loop of the second stitch. Yarn under through all the both front loops on your hook. Yarn under and pull through both loops on your hook to complete the invisible decrease. And then two single crochets. Switch to yellow yarn and do one decrease. followed by six single crochets. Then switch back to light orange yarn and repeat this sequence. One decrease followed by two single crochets, repeating this three times. After that, do four single crochets and finish with one decrease. You should have a total of 26 stitches. In the following round, just follow the written pattern. Fill in some polyester fiber. Cut the leftover yarn and close the hole in a flat line. Here the body is complete. 
If your stitches are twisting to the right, it means that the way you're pulling out the yarn is also to the right. You might want to check out my previous video on how to avoid twisting stitches for more information and tips on correcting this issue. I will share the link in the description. Next, we crochet the nose. Make a knot in a magic ring and do six single crochets into it. When you finish a round, make sure to do a slip stitch in the first stitch to close it off, then chain one to start the next round. You need to repeat this at the end and start of every round to keep things nice and neat. In round one, make an increase in every stitch until the end. You should have a total of 12 stitches. In round two, do three single crochets. Followed by one increase and repeat this sequence three times. You should have a total of 15 stitches. In the following round, single crochet in every stitches until end. You should have a total of 15 stitches. Here the nose is complete. Next, we'll crochet the legs. Start with three chains. In round one, start with one chain Then insert the hook into the back bump and do one increase. Followed by one single crochet. In the last chain, do three single crochets in one stitch. Then, insert the hook into both loops of the chain and do two single crochets. Finish with one slip stitch in the first stitch. You should have a total of eight stitches. In round two, do three single crochets.
followed by three half double crochet increases. Then do two single crochets. You should have a total of 11 stitches. In round three, do three single crochets. Followed by three half double crochet decreases. Then do two single crochets. You should have a total of eight stitches. In the following round, just follow the written pattern. In round six to 10, change to orange yarn and do single crochets in every stitch until the end of the rounds. Do the other leg using the same pattern. The legs are now complete. Here is the pattern for the remaining parts of bingo.
When all the parts are done, let's join them together. Secure the eye on the white part of the eye before you sew it onto Bingo's face. Place it between rounds 5 and 10, leaving two stitches between both eyes. Secure the nose bead and use black yarn sew a mouth shape between round 3 to 4. Then fill in polyester until it's fully fill. Sew the nose in the middle around rounds 10 to 11. Sew the hands onto round 13 on each side of the body. Sew the eyebrow above the eye on round 4. Next, sew the inner ear onto the ear, and then sew the ear onto the top of the head. Sew the tail on round 22. Then, sew the legs onto the last round at the bottom. Here you have done your bingo. Thanks for joining me in this crochet adventure. I hope you enjoyed making bingo from Bluey as much as I did. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more fun crochet tutorials. Don't forget to share your creations with me. I'd love to see your versions of bingo. In my next video, I'll be showing you how to crochet Bluey, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you in the next video.